the real truth about the Caucasian race theory. Caucasoid skull, Northwest Europe, East Europe, South Europe, Turkey, Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, North India, India, Horn of Africa, Middle East. The term Caucasian race, also Caucasoid, Europid, or Europoid, has been used to denote the general physical type of some or all other populations of Europe, North Africa, the Horn of Africa, Western Asia, the Middle East, parts of Central Asia and South Asia. Historically, the term has been used to describe many peoples from these regions without regard necessarily to skin tone. Johann Frederick Blumenbach was a German physician, naturalist, physiologist, and anthropologist. He is considered to be a main founder of zoology and anthropology as comparative scientific disciplines. He was also important as a race theorist. Blumenbach Skull. The 18th century German anatomist Johann Blumenbach kept a collection of 250 human skulls but he found one particularly enchanting, my beautiful, typical head of a young Georgian female, he wrote. Always of itself attracts every eye. Bloom and Black claimed to have found five distinct varieties of humankind in his collection. While he thought these varieties, which he called races in 1795, were more or less equal in character and intelligence. Blumenbach ranked them in terms of what he saw as their physical perfection. Taken from the body of an unnamed Georgian woman in the Caucasus, Blumenbach's favorite skull became the basis of his Caucasian race. And with that, a scientific typology of whiteness was born. Female Caucasoid Skull My beautiful, typical head of a young Georgian female, Johann Blumenbach. The young female skull was from the nation state Georgia, located in the Caucasus Mountains. The young female skull was from the nation state Georgia, located in the Caucasus Mountains. Blumenbach's classification of the single human species into five varieties later called races. The Caucasian or white race. Blumenbach was the first to use this term for people of European origin, but the term would later be reinterpreted to also include Middle Easterners, North Africans, and South Asians, European, Middle Easterners, North Africans, South Asians, 
In biological anthropology, Caucasoid has been used as an umbrella term for phenotypically similar groups from these different regions with a focus on skeletal anatomy and especially cranial morphology without regard to skin tone. So, regardless of complexion, light or dark complexion, or texture of hair, Caucasian, Mediterranean, or Iberian types share the same facial features. Some writers subscribed to Giuseppe Sergi depigmentation theory that the Nordic race was the northern variety of Mediterraneans that lost pigmentation through natural selection due to the environment. Nordics or Northern Europeans and people from the Horn of Africa or South Asia would have the same phenotype, facial features, because they were all classified as Caucasians. Examples The Book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. Biblical nationality was not based on phenotype. It was based on paternal descent. If you descended from Elam, then you were an Elamite. Asher, then you were an Assyrian. Mankind have a common origin, sons of Adam and sons of Noah. Mankind will, regardless of our different nationalities, share common general traits. We don't need the theory of evolution to explain the variation among nations. All we have to do is read the scriptures and open our eyes.